getting ready and traveling to Egypt. Napoleon raised a sizable invasion force at the beginning of 1798. On May 19, 1798, his fleet, which consisted of more than 300 ships and some 38,000 soldiers, sailed out of Toulon. About 150 scientists, engineers, and academics who belonged to the Institut d'Egypte, whose goal was to research and record Egypt's past and present, accompanied the armed forces. The arrival in Egypt, the fleet arrived off the shore of Alexandria on July 1st, 1798, eluding the British Royal Navy's notice. Alexandria was taken by the French army after they swiftly overpowered the city's defenders. From there, Napoleon moved closer to Cairo, but ran into opposition from Mamluk-aligned local soldiers. The Conflict of the Pyramids. The Mamluk forces confronted the French army on July 21st, 1798, in the vicinity of Mbabe Hamlet, which is close to the Giza pyramids. The formation of France Napoleon divided his 25,000 men into five divisional squares, each of which could function on its own. This structure, which places artillery and luggage in the middle and infantrymen on the outside corners of each square, was intended to fend off cavalry attacks. Between each square stood a cavalry troop, ready to provide support as needed. The Mamluk armies, Murad Bey, led the Mamluks, who numbered between 40,000 and 60,000 soldiers, the majority of whom were cavalry. Renowned for their skill on horseback and their highly armed cavalry, the Mamluks were confident they could defeat the French. The dynamics of combat. The Mamluks made multiple forceful cavalry charges as soon as the fight started. But the disciplined French soldiers stuck to their square lines and unleashed volleys of musketry that wiped out the cavalry that was charging. Another important factor was the French artillery, which destroyed Mamluk formations before they could come close to the squares where the infantry was stationed. The Mamluks were outnumbered, but they could not break through the French lines. The French artillery proved to be too formidable for the Mamluk cavalry resulting in a spectacle of chaos and devastation on the battlefield. Eventually, Murad Bey and a large portion of his army were forced to withdraw. Repercussions of the combat, French takeover of Cairo. Following the conflict, the French successfully took control of Lower Egypt by marching into Cairo. The triumph dealt a serious damage to the Mamluk power structure and greatly boosted the morale of Napoleon's men. Strategic repercussions. Consolidation of French rule over Egypt was the direct result of the Battle of the Pyramids. However, the superiority of British naval might soon threaten this authority. The British force, led by Admiral Horatio Nelson, annihilated the French fleet at the Conflict of the Nile on August 1, 1798, just 10 days after the conflict. Napoleon's army was consequently cut off from France and left stuck in Egypt. Impact on culture and science. The scientific and cultural research that Napoleon's Egyptian war sparked is one of the campaign's lasting effects. The scientific and scholarly community that accompanied the French army made important advances in the study of ancient Egypt. The most famous find was the Rosetta Stone, which was discovered in 1799 and later made it possible to decode Egyptian hieroglyphs the stone Rosetta. The stone, which was found by French soldiers close to Rosetta, now Rashid, included an edict written in three different scripts, Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphic. It was issued in 196 BC during the reign of King Ptolemy. Egyptology was revolutionized by this trilingual inscription, which ultimately held the key to uncovering the mysteries of Egyptian writing the effects over time. The campaign had long-lasting consequences, even though the French control of Egypt at the time was ultimately unsustainable because of British naval superiority. It introduced European academics to ancient Egyptian civilization, sparking a resurgence of interest in the history and archaeology of the area. From a political standpoint, the campaign illustrated Napoleon's boldness in strategy and hinted at his future conquests throughout Europe.